Thanks, Erica. Tracy joins us from L.A. Tracy, we've been talking about the Harvey Weinstein sex scandal. It's been developing minute by minute. You grew up in the industry, so what's your gut reaction? Well, my gut reaction is I'm horrified, but not surprised. Hmm. You know, you hear of this sort of thing going on a lot. And granted, this is an exaggerated version, I think, because he is so powerful. Hmm. So had you had any experiences that you would want to share with us? You know, in light of all of this, I, you know, I really, I thought about it, and I don't think I have, but I think that's in due because I was raised in the industry, and I was taught at an early age what to expect when you go into a room, when you audition, and what to do and what not to do. But I think that young actresses are super vulnerable when they come into Hollywood, well, then I and gotta, they don't know what is, yeah, what then, is expected. I got to ask you then, then how real is the casting couch, right? You know, is this a prevalent turn? You said you never experienced it, but as your, your time in the industry, was this something that was really a part of... Uh, oh, that world. It, 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 it's, it's still a part of this world, mm. and it, it has been for years. Absolutely. Just because I personally didn't experience it doesn't mean it's not a very real thing. And we see that with this situation with Harvey Weinstein. I mean, he has so much power, and I think he held these women hostage by his power. Absolutely. Right. And so, Tracy, um, women, for example, that may undergo this or, or go, th go through this type of trial have a couple of choices. And for the ones that settle out of court, does that make a statement to you one way or the other? Mm. What does that say? You know, my first instinct was, my God, I wish that they had all spoken up. But in reading the situation, what was going on, he really just, like, held them captive by his power mm. and what he could do with them. And I think they were afraid that he could crush them. And he threatened them. And it, 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 it was emotional bullying. It was physical assault. I mean, he had them at every level because right. he's the, probably the most powerful man in Hollywood. Tracy, who do you think is the you most know? vulnerable? Yeah. Is it Great younger question. actors? Is it... Um... It's, it's, it's young women who weren't raised in Hollywood, who come from, you know, some other part of the country and have these dreams and aspirations. And we're taught as, as you know, actors or actresses that you just, you do whatever you can do to survive, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, and to get through and to, and, to, and to become successful. And, you know, I think there are boundaries that, and, that you don't know. You know, Emmy Robson just did an interview where she said that last year she was asked to, pull, to come into an audition in a bikini. Granted, she's on Shameless, and the guy wanted to see if she was fat, if she had gotten fat. Ugh, and she said crazy. that she thought about it. She literally thought, should I do this? Now, this is somebody who's been raised in the industry. Mm -hmm. So if she thought about it, imagine if you're new to that town and you're asked to do it. You know, you might think... Yeah, that's like no one's to immune do. to it. You I know. know, and hopefully this, you know, exactly. this big controversy, uh, this puts an end to the culture. People speaking out. So thank you yes. so much, Tracy. It we is love so you. Next time. We love you so oh, much. I love thank you guys. You. I miss you. Thank you. Digital producer Raquel Vinueva with news at this moment. Raquel.